don't smell them off both of you. Oh, Mum, did you have to creep up on me like that? You, your best suit. You frighten the life out of me. I take the road, Mickey. You turn up in Nine Elms dressed like that. Wake up to you. Yes, please. Yeah, and what are you doing on your own this time of the morning? Oh, I've got me whistle, me spray can. What more do I need? Oh, no, you and Dad haven't had No, it. he was in his bed when I left him, snoring his head off. It's funny, that. Huh? Yeah. Well, I'm sure he's had one too many. Well, Mum, according to Simon, I think it was nearer ten too many, and that was just in the oh, Vic. Listen, Ian, the reason well, I... If you want to call Mr Wilmot Brown, call him yourself, all right? Ian, you promised. Yeah, well, I plain forgot, didn't I? I think that's what you ought to do and all. Ian, look, fix it for tonight, all right, 8.30, and tell him he must bring the money with him. Mum, you can't. Look, and don't forget not a word she did. Mum, you can't, not after what he's done to you. Ian, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, and what you should be doing is going to the police, getting him banged up the same as then. Remind me to do you a favour, son. Oh, Mum, look, don't muck about. I mean, how are you, small? Yeah, and so am I. Look, this is about being down to nine arms. I've got an appointment with a bank manager. I've got to persuade him to cough up a couple of grand, so I'm buying me one in the cash. Well, Come please give me the keys. Well, for you. Look, Mum, if I let Dad down, he'll kill me, so please give yeah, me the right, keys. Yeah, you're right, you know, the mood he's been in lately. I'm not going to win, am I? All right, I will call him. Satisfied? Thank you. Thanks. And believe me, Ian, you have got nothing to worry about on my That. Oh, that old son pretty at me while I was parked inside the bank. And all I'd like to be in your shoes when your dad sees it. Oh, if he says anything, well, I'll just tell him to go get his own stuff, won't I? You little toe. <laughs> well, it's not of my getting over a barrel, is it? Look, I'll see you later, right, Mum? Okay. Yeah, wait a minute, Ian. You made that phone call yet? Look, I ain't just got back. Well, if you don't want to make me look a fool, you better do it. Hey, soon. Hey? Just do what I ask, please. All right, mind yourself. Well, what'd you get on? He said he had something planned, oh, but he said he would cancel it. Yeah, I thought he might. Look, Mum, I'm not going to let you go see him on your own. Ian, this has got nothing yeah, to I do know, with Yeah, I know, but you. he might try some of his funny business again. I don't again. want you anywhere near. Try stopping me. Hello, Cathy. Sorry I'm late. Out there. Thanks. Thanks very much. Strange coming here after all this time. McIntyre did a good job, didn't he? Look, you didn't come here to talk small talk, did you? No, I've got the money, if that's what you're worried about. If you want the truth, I'm more worried about being in the same room as you. I wouldn't harm you, Cathy. Where have I heard that one before? As I said in my letter weeks ago, it was a simple misunderstanding on both our parts. Yours, maybe. Definitely not mine. Yes, well, that's all past history now, hasn't it? Not yet, it ain't. I'm sure Ian will have told you this is supposed to be a loan. Well, just give me the money, then get out, all right? If you need any more, you only have to ask. You know that, don't you? This will do nicely, thank you very much. Yes, it will, Mrs Bill. I don't believe you two have met. James Wilmot Brown, this is Detective Inspector Ashley. Conniving bitch. Well, she, she set me up. Oh, you did that yourself, old bean. That's what it is, Inspector, a setup. If, if you'll allow me a few minutes in private, I'm sure we'll be able to clear up this whole matter in no time. It all looks pretty much cut and dried to me. It was a loan, pure and simple. I felt sorry for them. They've been having a lot of financial trouble lately. Well, then I'm sure you'll have no hesitation in coming to the station with us. How could you do this to me, Cathy? After all, I've suffered on your account. That's why, sir, if you wouldn't mind. Come on, Mum. I'll tell you I'm all right. Oh, you better tell Michelle and Sharon the coast is clear first. You know what? I won't be long, OK? Don't rush. I'm fine, honestly. 